so today i want to discuss about osteoporosis and similar at the same point of time i also like to uh, describe the differences between osteoporosis and osteomalacia and osteoporosis and osteopenia which are often confused with each other so let's start with a very important concept the differences between osteoporosis and osteomalacia now the first thing that you need to understand that osteoporosis is a quantitative bone disorder there is a decrease in bone mass but osteomalacia which is typically associated with vitamin d deficiency or abnormality in the vitamin d metabolism that is a qualitative bone disorder it is osteomalacia is characterized by defective mineralization of the bone osteomalacia the bone's chemical composition is altered is abnormal but in case of osteoporosis the chemical composition of the bone remains unchanged the basic problem the bone is getting thinned out the bone is getting porous osteoporosis that means there is a porous bone there is a thinned out bone and at this point of time i want to also introduce another term that is called osteopenia so what are the differences between osteopenia and osteoporosis wherever in medical science if you get the term ending with penia it basically means lack or poverty of that because the term comes from the greek ga- goddess of po- poverty the penia was the greek goddess of poverty like leukopenia it means poverty or lack of leukocytes less than 4000 per cumm or microliter thrombocytopenia means lack of thrombocyte similarly osteopenia means decrease in bone mass lack of bone mass and the difference between osteoporosis and osteopenia is this that osteoporosis is nothing but an extreme form of osteopenia which is associated with complications like repeated bone fractures or fragile fractures as they say so till now we understood three important terms one is osteoporosis another is osteomalacia another is osteopenia firstly osteomalacia is completely different from osteoporosis and osteopenia osteomalacia is a qualitative bone defect there is a abnormal mineralization of the bone which is associated with or caused due to vitamin d abnormality or abnormal vitamin d metabolism on the other side osteopenia and osteoporosis both these problems are usually associated with decreased bone mass and osteoporosis is a kind of extreme or severe form of osteopenia or lack of bone mass which is associated with problems like fracture now osteoporosis uh, which is a the it's a major metabolic bone disorder it's a global problem actually millions of people are affected by it and osteoporosis usually comes in three forms usually they say primary primary this type 1 uh, usually they say uh, postmenopausal 1a postmenopausal osteoporosis or another form of primary is senile osteoporosis which has to do with aging and then there are osteoporosis could also occur uh, due to some secondary causes like endocrine causes uh, like cushing syndrome hyperparathyroidism hyperthyroidism or it also could occur due to certain drugs like corticosteroids therapy so primarily we get a primary form of osteoporosis which are occur in two forms one is postmenopausal another is senile or aging associated and other side there is osteoporosis which is occurring due to secondary due to other causes like endocrine disorders drugs and all this kind of thing now to understand what is osteoporosis you need to understand a concept called peak bone mass what is meant by peak bone mass uh before to explain peak bone mass i would like to tell you a story usually uh, people working class people we think in this way that uh, that till our retirement we need to save a lot of money 
and usually we depend on the money which we have saved till our retirement and we use that money spend that money after retirement similarly uh, whatever bone mass we all we gather acquire that we usually acquire by 30 years of age the 30 years of 30 years is like our retirement age for acquiring the bone mass big bone mass and after 30 year we start to lose that big bone mass now it has been seen that the big bone mass which is acquired by an average male is higher compared to an average female and that is the reason why the females when they and females usually has a protective effect from estrogen also estrogen actually uh, al don't allow the activation of osteoclasts through certain cytokines like interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 uh, to to cause bone erosion or loss of bone mass by the osteoclast so females as they have decreased bone mass compared to male by the age of 30 and then they start to lose the bone mass and when they hit when they hit the menopause by the age of 50 55 they start to lose it even more progressively so there will be rapid decline in the bone mass and that's why they usually develop osteoporosis after menopause we call it postmenopausal osteoporosis another form of primary osteoporosis is called senile osteoporosis which occurs both in males and females and this this kind of osteoporosis occur is basically due to due to lack of functioning of osteoblasts uh, i think you are aware that there are two kinds of bone cells there one is called osteoblast which usually synthesize bone lay down the bone another kind of cell is there osteoclast which chews bone here or eats bone and bone is not a it's a solid rock solid organ actually bone is a highly dynamic organ that means at any point of time roughly 7 to 10 percent remodeling of the bone occur even in all adults right now in me and in you also so this that means osteoblasts are osteoclast actually they're trying to uh, chew the bone eat the bone wherever it's required and osteoblasts are trying to repair that bone by laying down the new bone now the the concept of senile osteoporosis or aging acid osteoporosis is this that as you age your osteoblasts lose your bone synthesis ability compared to osteoclast so by the time you reach the age 70 75 your osteoclast are still eroding your bone but osteoblast cannot match up with that and they, they start to synthesize less amount of bone and that causes the senile osteoporosis another form is their postmenopausal osteoporosis i'm going to discuss this in, in details in another uh, session so till now we understood the differences between three terms one is called osteomalacia, another is osteoporosis, another is osteopenia. Osteomalacia is a qualitative defect of bone when there is an abnormal mineralization of the bone, leading to bone weakening. On the other side, osteoporosis and osteopenia, the chemical composition of the bone is unaltered, unchanged. Only the bone mass is getting decreased. And bone mass is getting mildly decreased in case of osteopenia and more severely decreased in cases of osteoporosis. So these are the key differences between these three terms, osteomalacia, osteoporosis and osteopenia. Thank you.